Well, it's Valentine's Day. So I've taken the chestnuts out of the refrigerator. I'm going to be opening these in reverse order. This jar is the last ones that I found. And the news is not good. Here's the biggest of them all. Nothing happened. Nothing happened with that one. Nothing happened with that one. Wow. Let's try the next one in my lucky coconut oil jar. This one's a little drier. Oh, well, at least one, at least one is good. In fact, its root is digging way down. So I need to add more water and gently massage it out. Here it comes. Okay, we've got one, at least one good one. Now, let's see if there's another one in here. There it is. Oh my, another dud. So it's looking like my worst fears are coming true that without the grandmother chestnut tree helping out for cross-pollination, I guess I should be thankful that I've at least got one of these immaculate conceptions. Well, let's see what's happening in the next jar. Oh, pardon my stomach, I'm fasting right now. If you heard that grumbling. Oh, we've got another winner. Hooray. Excellent, excellent. Okay. All hope is not lost yet. I need more water. Oh, whoa, good, good, good. We've got another winner. Let's see if the good luck continues. So if this is the case, if I'm going to keep finding winners now, which I really hope that I will, then perhaps it's also to do with how late they were harvested, which is rather unfortunate because this one is just so big. But that could be good news in the very short term because I'm going to open them up and hopefully find that they're still good for eating. And I would really like to eat that one. I have never yet eaten one of my American chestnuts. 
I think we might have another winner because this one doesn't want to come out. And boy, is it big. Yes, I think it's another winner. It's very reluctant to come out. I'm going to have to pour out some of this sawdust so that I can fish it out. It seems to have made a, a good root. There it is. Yeah. That's a very fat root. What a beautiful root that is. I'll rinse these off in a second. Okay, well things are not as bad as they seemed. Now for the last jar. Oh, wow. Well, things are definitely shaping up. We've got another good one here. In fact, that one is starting to make it. That, that's the, this is the root and that, I'll wash it off and show you better. But that's actually starting to grow. That's the sprout coming up. Good news. Wow, this was really looking grim at the beginning, I'll tell you. Let's hope that we end on a positive note. Oh, there goes my stomach again. Looks like we have another good one. Doesn't want to come out. Nope, needs more water. Patience is important because I don't want to damage these roots. That would be pretty much a death sentence. Wow, this one does not want to come out. So again, I will take out as much of the sawdust as I can so that I can try to pry it out. Here it comes. Okay. Yeah, this one is also just starting to make it sprout. In fact, two sprouts, unless that's another root. Three, six, nine, ten. I think that's it. I think we're done. I'm pretty sure that there were ten chestnuts. Yep. We're done. So, that's still, it's still good. It's still very good. Let's rinse these off a bit. I'll rinse it over the sawdust here so it can absorb the water. Don't need to make a big mess. That one's not yet sprouting. Look at this one is splitting open. Hmm. It's 
See that splitting? Well, could have been worse. So this is actually, I need to adjust my reaction because this is still really good news. The fact that the Miracle Sisters chestnut tree was able to produce six that I was able to find viable chestnuts that will soon be more trees. This is really actually very good news. That means that this fall, I will hopefully still be finding lots of chestnuts for next year. So now I'm going to put these in pots.